understand the importance of what he was talking about because it's so flippin' complicated. Uh, but his contribution, recognise, you, you know that he's somebody who's, who's changed uh, academia. Well, I suppose also the running joke is around uh, the most famous book he ever wrote, A Brief History of Time. People joking that it is uh, the book uh, that everyone has, but in fact has never quite read. Exactly. All right, the world woke up today to the shocking news that uh, Hawking, the leading physicist of our time, died. He once said, I'm not afraid of death, but I'm in no hurry to die. I have so much I want to do first. And that he certainly did. The acclaimed cosmolo cosmologist's crowning achievement was his work on the theory of black holes. This, his, this loss is uh, not only to the scientific world, but physicists say that it's not since Albert Einstein that a scientist so captured the public imagination. To discuss the legacy of Stephen Hawking, joining us uh, from Port Elizabeth is South African physicist, physicist Professor uh, Azwindini Muronga. Good evening to you and thank you for your time. Uh, the first question uh, I suppose and that I must to your viewers. The first question I suppose that I have to ask you is that you know one of the things that Stephen Hawking was able to do was he was able to take very complex academic uh, scientific matters and really make them accessible to the general public it's quite a skill to be able to do that. Uh, indeed it is which is why he he became a household name simply because he could break down very complicated and complex concepts of physics uh, so that uh, even a lay person could understand that. And uh, I think one of that was uh, uh, through uh, his book on the a Brief History of Time. But it wasn't just about complexity, it was also about the essence and I suppose the beauty of the cosmos. Uh, he was somebody who was, uh, although a scientist at heart, could also appreciate really what you might call the artistry behind the universe. Uh, uh, indeed, that is uh, correct. And uh, uh, since Einstein, he was the only one who could possibly connect the big scale of the cosmos uh, and at the same time connect it with the quantum, which is the world of the smallest particles. Uh, and I think that is really an, an art uh, of science. I mean, one of the things uh, that we were saying even in our introductory remarks there was that uh, uh, if you look at the work that he came up with, the idea, for example, that black holes were hot and yet could evaporate, uh, the fact that uh, the Big Bang was inevitable, uh, you know, if you look at how the world of the universe was formed, those were the two central ideas that he contributed to, he contributed to science. Uh, yes, and that is uh, something that Einstein himself could not comprehend. Um, he could elegantly write down the equations uh, that proved that uh, um, actually what scientists have believed, that the black hole, nothing can come out of it. He could prove that actually uh, that was not entirely true. Black holes themselves, he believed, could evaporate, uh, and uh, which means that you can start with a big black hole uh, in the end because of evaporation of those particles. Uh, therefore, the black hole can also have an end uh, in terms of time and life. One of the things I find fascinating is the idea that uh, our universe, as big as it may be today, according to the theories that uh, Professor Hawking uh, uh, pushed forward, was that uh, the universe uh, began uh, smaller than an atom today. Uh, yes, uh, uh, which, is, which is why we could, uh, 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 of course, connect uh, the bigger cosmos uh, with, with, with the, the quantum. Um, his theories, of course, uh, had challenges, and himself, he was already also starting to ask questions whether there is really one universe, uh, 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 or there are other universes that might have also been born out of that. Um, we know today that uh, uh, through observations uh, that the universe is expanding, uh, if one extrapolate back towards the beginning, the universe must have started a very tiny, tiny object and very hot and very dense. And that is what uh, um, 
uh, Stephen Hawking uh, has ab been able to explain to the general public and to the scientists in general? Yet Prof Muronga, he was also a controversial figure. I mean, one of the things that, that is being explored is the idea of sending man to Mars, which Professor Hawking described as a stupid idea, uh, not least because he says that you couldn't bring uh, man back, but he said we should rather send robots. Yet at the same time, he described artificial intelligence as the worst event in the history of our civilization. Uh, that, that is uh, uh, quite correct. Uh, if, if one look at uh, his latest thinking and, and read his thoughts, he also said that if humanity does not embrace space, uh, our life here on this planet, it's, it's not guaranteed because there could be disasters. And those disasters could uh, range from a variety of things, um, uh, asteroids, uh, a, a, a war and genocide, uh, biochemical weapons, also the artificial intelligence itself, he said, as much as it can bring good, it can also bring uh, a, 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 a doomsday to the humanity. Hence, he was starting to really embrace all this technology and all these ideas of, uh, of venturing it into space. But he left us with also warning messages uh, that uh, uh, scientists should be ethical at the same time. Indeed, uh, we would do well to heed his warnings. An unlikely celebrity, he was featured in films, he, was, uh, partic he participated in television series, he became a bit of a, a rock star as a scientist. I think that uh, he will leave a huge hole. Professor Azwindi Nini Muronga on the line there from Port Elizabeth.